to hear for the first time, I will say that this town should be called a town on a mountain. I think I found a place that I want to live for the rest of my life, man, because I'm a nature person and seeing this view in here, I think I'll buy a house in Kowu. No, I mean like when I go here, I saw that people are building mansions in here. Ghana is not just a crowd, so stop building your houses in there. I think the land in here is even for free. But hey, yesterday I went for a sightseeing of which I don't really like doing. So I went into a cave yesterday and I met this gorgeous African YouTuber and she's a fan of what am I. So today I decided to take her along. I mean, you know how we do it. Always want to meet new people, film with them. I mean, create content together for us to promote Africa together. So hey, she lives here. I don't know. I think she's super rich. So I came here to visit and come with me. Let's go talk to her. I think she's going to take us around. But hey, first of all, where I'm standing right now is the largest hotel in the whole of Africa. Being here is a blessing. Come with me. What am I? Hey, you've recovered. I'm stronger than you're anything. Still really? No, yesterday you were a little bit scared. No, I'm always scared. Listen, I know it's not your thing, but yeah. you did a bit of traveling with Drury like but that. What are you doing there? Well, you know we do travel with Drury, we explore all the different sites and things to do in Ghana. You don't sound like a Ghanaian, though. But that doesn't mean I'm not from Ghana. Where I'm are you from? British born Ghanaian. British born Ghanaian. And now I'm here. And what are you doing in Ghana? I live here now. You live here now? I live Why in would Ghana you do now. That? Why would I do You're that? You're so young to move to Ghana. But it's all about taking risks and taking opportunities. And so I decided to come to Ghana, see what Ghana has, live the life of a Ghanaian, see what it like, see what it's like to be a Ghanaian. Oh, wow. You know, so sometimes I go around selling fish, sometimes I go around traveling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But Drew, you live here. Well, I came to Kweu to see what Kweu has. It's and not, of it's course, not Kweu. It's how do I say it? Kweu? 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 <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I came to Kwe uh -huh. and I thought I have to stay in, of course, the biggest, uh -huh. the biggest hotel in the whole of West Africa. Africa, not even West Africa. Not even Africa. I think you are blessed to live in here. God is good. You're a millionaire. All the time. You need to tap into that. Not Go on, tap in it. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I guess you have to show me around today. Of course. I'm going to show you the things that I did. Firstly, taking the breath air. Fresh. There's no corona here. I'm joking. Maya, yeah. I'm officially welcoming you to Rock City. Thank you. Yes. This place is beautiful. Honestly, I've traveled around the world hmm. and Ghana as well, you know, travel with Drew. Exactly. And I have to say, this is definitely by far the biggest hotel that I have ever stayed in. You know, I have traveled within Africa uh -huh. and this is my first time seeing something like that. Yeah. If you see, a bit, if you say like a biggest hotel in Africa, it's just one building. No, but this is a, a city in its own. It's, and why did they call it Rock City? Well, we're in Kwe, exactly. which is full of mountains. Yeah, a mountain is a big rock. Wow. So maybe the city on a rock. <laughs> you smart. <laughs> And how have your stay been? My stay has been amazing. Really? The pool was beautiful. Wow. I mean, just the sights alone. There is a huge, huge underground club that I was at yesterday. Really? You have no idea. They had a live band. People were dancing. It was superb. And I found out there is soon to be nearly 2,000 rooms in this place. And how did you know all these things? Well, I made a friend. You know, yeah. I have to make friends everywhere that I go, being a traveler. And so she's an architect. I'm going to meet, I'm going to get her so that the two of you can have a conversation. She can give you more details about oh, wow. this place. 
Mm -hmm. I just can't wait. It's beautiful. But thank you so much for educating me. No problem. Do you have a Ghanaian name? I do. What's your Ghanaian name? A four. A four. Uh huh. And my Ghanaian name is Kwabena. What day of the week is that? Tuesday. Oh, I'm a Friday. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> So with my oh my god they're here hey ladies Hi. how are you okay so with Maya uh -huh. this is a fear and a fear call them a fear squared <laughs> and I'm a fear too so fear triple <laughs> I know so we were chilling earlier on of course I told you I was enjoying myself in Rock City but okay. these ladies know everything and anything about Rock City so. Uh -oh. They're gonna tell you. How, how, how come both of you know everything about Rock City? Are you guys the owners? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who is the owner? Brian Champo. Brian Champo. Yeah. And how come she's telling me that both of you know everything in here? Uh, we are the resident architects here. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Really? <laughs> both of you designed this place or something? Yes. Yes, we did. That's impressive. I mean, we have power. Thank you. Ladies can do it too. We can do it too. Okay, yeah, but I, I want to know, yeah, what makes Rock City the largest hotel in the whole of Africa? Wow. Uh, where do we start from? It's too large. I don't even know where to start from. But um, we have um, 880 rooms, hotel rooms under construction, uh, 2,200 capacity conference room and about 45 other meeting rooms for smaller groups and we will have the biggest aquarium in West Africa Wow! yes and um, we have the biggest basement nightclub in the world oh wow which takes about 2,200 people at a time I was there yesterday yes. you were there yesterday that was what you're telling me how, how did you find it it was amazing yeah. absolutely surreal yeah. The sound, the yeah. Lighting, the yeah. system. Oh, no. the VIP section. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way you guys are sounding, you guys need to spend a night here. Yes, 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 definitely. You need to. You need to. Like a week. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't so afford. that you can just so enjoy yeah, everything. I can't afford. It's, 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 it's but, but is it affordable to live in here? Yes, 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 yes. It's, it's affordable. How yeah, affordable? Um, about 650 Ghana CDs a night. Wow. Yes for our standard deluxe rooms. Wow. Yes, yes. And we have a lot more coming up, so we are going to have um, uh, even less expensive rooms and other things coming up once you are done with the construction of all the 880 rooms. I, I read on the internet that you guys have a golf park in here. Yes, yes. Um, so we, we have um, mini golf. So the mountain that you see now mm -hmm. is part of Rock City. Wow. Everything around here. Oh Everything nice. around nice. here. It's part of Rock City wow. and uh, we are still going through the construction so, phase. We I, have I, I, let, let me know, yeah. how long has this project been in existence? Uh, say uh, by November would have been 12 years. 12? Yes, yes. Yes. That's yes. And the time yes. that it, it was commissioned, I think it, it, it hasn't been a long time. Since yeah, uh, it was partially opened. Um, November last year, so it's just been about a year. A year? A year since we started the partial operation. Wow. Yes. And when do you think this project will be complete? <sighs> um, we're looking at doing a full, um, going into full operation by uh, 2022. Mm. Okay. With, with uh, 2,200 capacity conference building, with uh, a 12-story apartments and gym building with uh, uh, Valley View apartments with private pools for people that want to come in with their families. It's about three, four bedrooms mm. uh, with their families to spend time facing the mountains and everything. So we are looking, we are looking at that. So uh, by 2022, we should have all that. We should have the fan zone uh, with the water park already. 
Yes, and then um, we will have our mini golf and our um, 18 pitch and putt, 18 all golf mm. already. Wow. Yes. That would be impressive. Yes, yes, yes. yes I just yes, can't yes. wait to see the final project. But in total, how many rooms are you guys going to have in here? 2,200 rooms. When That's when we are done with our phase Every two. One phase one phase and one phase, phase two. two. Yes. You're going to have 2,200 rooms available you know here. If they have 2,200 rooms, which means it's going to be like the whole world is going to be like the, the number fifth? Yes. yes, fifth in the world. In the world. Wow. Yes, see, yes. See that I know more than you. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Just that you have the money to stay in here. Number one in Africa. Number one in the entire yes. Africa. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. I just want to say I want to move around, by the way. Thank you so much for talking to me. And uh, keep up the good work. I'll okay. see you soon, yeah? Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know what? I was so impressed by your friends. You know, it's good to hang out with people like that. I know. Intelligent young Africans. Ladies. Oh, sorry about that. I know, right? Sorry. Ladies sorry are them. also very powerful as well. I okay. Mean, I, I feel so happy when I see women winning. Definitely. Especially African women. All about that female empowerment. But do you know what? Mm -hmm. We've been walking through this amazing, amazing development okay and what they forgot to tell you mm -hmm. is that it was actually built by people who live in this village wow mm -hmm. and also all of these materials were sourced from kweru itself that's impressive uh-huh i know absolutely beautiful and what makes me more happy is that the man who built this development is from ko he decided to invest in ko mm -hmm. it's about time like everybody should stop investing in Accra. Hey. It's like they're keeping everything in Accra. It seems like you have something against Accra. I always have something against Accra. Hey, he's a tardy boy. Elze, 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 Elze. I'll build bigger than this in Accra. Ooh, we're waiting to see it. Wait for it. Definitely. But I don't know why, like, in Ghana, everything has to be in Accra. Not everything. I, I'm, I'm so impressed. No, everything is in Accra. You can decide not to tell me the truth, but I, I know that everything is a crap. But I'm so happy that he did this in here. Mm -hmm. so it's about time each and every one of you that is investing in Accra, you should go back because most of them are not even from Accra. <laughs> now, it, it, go it, back it, to your hometown. Go back to your hometown. But this is why you have travel with Drew because Drew actually goes to all of these different places and she goes and checks out all the beautiful locations that are outside of Accra. And if you don't know Drew, she has a YouTube channel. I met her here in Kou. I don't mm -hmm. really know her anyway. <laughs> and um, I just want you, each and every one of you to go to the description box, check out her YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and make sure you subscribe and tell her that Wada Maya brought me to your YouTube channel. Oh, nice. I, like, it's been a weekend spending time with her. She's so amazing. Oh, that's, that's a sweetheart. <laughs> You know, like you're gonna give me trouble. You know, don't you hug me? They might oh, think I'm that. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, uh. we just met by fate. You know, but God brought us together. Hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> If you're watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share. Yes. Let's promote Made in Ghana. I mean, not just Made in Ghana, Made in Africa. You know what? I feel so proud to see that Africans are doing something. So if you also feel proud, don't forget to like the video and share to your friends and families. Yeah? There we do go. you have any something to say? Well, yes. Like what I said, please do like and subscribe. My channel is Ms. Drew TV. And follow me as I travel around Ghana and see what life is like sometimes being the consumer and not the seller. Being the seller and not the consumer. <laughs> <laughs> See ya!